everybody welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl isis naya um i'm gonna show you guys how i prep my hair for underneath my wigs and as you guys know my hair is locked in now let me show y'all i have a lot of new growth in the front like my hair i've been locked for about six months so i still have a lot of growing that needs to be done in terms of like actually like locking it because every time i wash the front of my hair like it gets really really loose you see that but i can always like twist it back and call it a day but i want to show you guys the quickest way for me to prep my hair when i'm ready to wear a wig and yeah that's what we're going to be doing today so if you guys are interested in that please continue to watch and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel because what are you doing what are you doing y'all see that pimple though that is disgusting I've been getting pimples all over my chin and <laughs> she wanted to just come and pop out like hey I'm here too I've been getting a pimple every day for the last four days and it's really disgusting so I don't know what I'm doing but let's just get right into the video so what I had to do first um the first thing that I had to do was wash well, not really wash. I pre pretty much put some conditioner in the front of my hair because it had a lot of like um, edge control and stuff like that. So I wanted to make sure that my hair was nicely like prepped in the front. So what I do is I take a piece of hair, like I'm braiding it. Take about this much. And I'm just taking a scrunchie so it can hold it together and because this hair is so loose in the front I just twist it now it doesn't have to be perfect I'm not making mine's perfect right now because my hair needs to be like completely washed but I'm waiting until the next two weeks to do that because i have a wig planned that i need to do and i want my hair to look like like i want the underneath my hair to look like really neat but just for the sake of this week i just kind of want to put my hair away because i'm kind of tired of it so i'm just twisting it which is going to happen in the next few seconds. You're gonna see me connecting the first braid that I did and I'm gonna connect it to the second braid. Now, this is where it gets bulky, but that's fine. Usually that's what the um, stocking cap does. Like the stocking cap kind of flattens it out, but to connect the braids, it just keeps everything nice and neat and keep the locks from sticking out. Um, again, when you get to the sides, they're going to get really bulky, but that's what happens. Um, if you're wearing wigs, I would definitely suggest to go a size up. So let's say if you're a size 22, I would say go up a size 23 just so the locks can actually fit onto the wig and doesn't look awkward. Another thing that I wanted to also mention too that I also love about me braiding my hair when it's time for me to put in my wigs. The hair, the locks actually get like really curly. Like it gets this like wavy texture and I think it's like so cute. And I think that's what I was explaining in the video. Um, 
but it looks really cute like it really does um if you guys want to see me take out my locks underneath the wigs let me know down below in the comment section like let me know what you guys want to see in terms of my locks because there's a couple of things that i want to show you guys that i'm learning because again i've been six months locked so i'm still learning like i'm literally still learning so yeah that's all i really wanted to say what i like to do is I like to take some leave-in conditioner. This is probably one of my favorite leave-in conditioners. Let me show you guys. I take some of my leave-in conditioner. This is the African Pride Miracle Moisture. And I spray it all over my head for some hydration, moisturizing. You're going to see it's a little white, but it's okay because it's going to get covered up anyway. I like to put some on my edges too. And brush this back. Like, I love a leave in conditioner. Like, it just moisturizes the scalp when necessary. And then I'm gonna take some of this. This is the Jamaican mango and lime. This stuff is so good for your hair. And especially if you have locks, I was weird using this stuff when I didn't have locks, and it made my hair so thick. And I just place it into my scalp. make sure it's getting penetrated through that and I'll also like to put it on my ends so I take a little bit on my hand rub it together and put it on the ends all right so I'm gonna do my other side come right back and then um, I'm gonna place my wig on my head I'm gonna show you guys how I place it on so I'll wait that's better so i'll be right back let me finish this side and look what we have here look what we have here so the braids are completely done and as i said before they will flatten out um once you start wearing your wigs and you wear your wig caps and stuff like that um for the sake of the video i'm not putting on a wig cap because i cannot find one right now but I am going to be putting on this wig and I've neglected her for so long and I definitely wanted to wear her. Like this is probably one of my favorite wigs and I wanted to talk to her, talk about her today in the video and flat iron her and stuff like that. I feel like I've really been neglecting my sis. So yeah, this is a um, human hair wig, I believe. I'm gonna have to check on my phone again because I'm not, I don't remember the company, but I definitely wanted to talk about it in this video today. So all I do is just put her on. It's gonna look a little bulky for right now because like this is what happens when you have dreads. Looks a little bulky. And she needs a good flat iron right now. Like for real, for real. So I'm going to twist it around. Yeah, she needs a good flat iron. But I love this wig. It's just so easy, especially like right now because, you know, I don't be wanting to do too much to my hair. And it's nice and short and it's cute. Like, I don't even got a flat iron it, honestly. But I'm just going to do it just for the sake of video because I just want to talk about it. But um, let me go to my ipad so i can kind of like further explain this wig to you guys okay so this wig is from amazon hey siri go to the amazon app it's crazy when i say here hey siri my kids tablets like get alarmed okay so this company is from ali fumi and I've been wanting to do a review on this wig for the longest and I haven't had a chance to. Um, they had reached out to me on Instagram because they wanted to work with me. I did a review and I left a review on Amazon because this wig is amazing. Um, what I did do to this wig is I did condition her. I didn't put any shampoo or anything in it and I didn't use any silicone mix and she, looks, she still looks really good. I want to flat iron her and everything but... This wig, when I first got it, it was really bouncy. It was really pretty, really nice. 
um i was obsessed with it because i was able to run my fingers through it i feel like by me washing the wig like it got a lot fuller because they said that the density was 150 but i think it's a little bit less maybe because it's so short but the density didn't bother me because the hair is still soft and so so pretty and it's still really shiny um i didn't add any product to this wig at all but I like it. It is so nice. It is so cute. And it's so easy. And it's super affordable. Like this wig is super affordable. And it is 100% human hair. And it is a 12 inch straight bob. I want to flat iron it because, again, I want to like give it that nice sleepy look. Um, I am going to say that the bangs were a little bit too like in my face in the beginning. But it's not too bad now. It's something I can maneuver and deal with um and this wig is it retails for $44.59 on amazon and let me tell you that is amazing price for this wig it's really really cute really nice very easy and you don't really have to do much to it just put it on and go that's it we're only doing easy over here especially like your mother myself um and you don't really want to do much like i think this is like the most easiest most cutest wig Ever. and you know i got the big forehead and then i could just cover it with the bang yang the bang yang so yeah i like this wig so i'm gonna flat iron it on camera for you guys and do all these homie touches probably do a little bit of makeup just to kind of like summarize the video um but overall if i had to recommend this wig i would because it is so pretty and you guys will be super happy when you get it because it's so pretty and it's so nice and it's just like the, the most easiest convenient wig you need in your life like you need a quick wig with some bangs because you want to look different you want to cover your forehead or whatever the situation is you just want something that's related to bangs short that you want to try i think this is like the one so yeah i want to flat iron it do some makeup <laughs> final look so i flat ironed the hair i changed my shirt did a little bit of makeup um i'm just gonna give my final thoughts on this hair absolutely love it. it is super affordable it is super easy to put on there's no lace so i think that's really beginner friendly you can just put it right on and that's it and it actually flattened out like i don't see any more bumps and stuff so this is a really beautiful wig um it is super soft it is super bouncy and i absolutely love it so i give this hair 10 stars because um i have been wearing this hair for a minute um i don't wear my wigs that often however um i've had this wig for way more than a month and i've washed it twice so this hair gets 10 because it is so super soft like 
is super soft i haven't put any product in it the only thing that i did was um was it straight straighten it um the only thing that i did to it was condition it and it is still silky silky soft so pretty and again super affordable and their customer service was really really awesome as well um the seller was very very like efficient and um I left a review on Amazon, so this is definitely a favorite of mine, and like I said, it's so easy. And if you like my makeup, let me know. I'll give you guys a little bit of a, maybe, tutorial. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next upload. Peace out, and um... Follow me on social media. That's where I'm mostly active at. You can follow me on Facebook. You can follow me on Instagram. Instagram is where I'm mostly active. And you can also um, follow me on Snapchat because I'll be posting my pictures and I'll be feeling myself. And you know I love the little filters and stuff. So, yeah. See you guys in the next upload. Peace out. Mwah. <laughs>